In the first three parts of this series, we learned how the Fibonacci sequence is creating a perfect human clock, and how this clock is encoded with important mathematical information. Make sure you watch those previous videos, as this is not something you will learn anywhere else. This information does not exist in mainstream mathematical textbooks. In this episode, we will start to explore what happens when we use that Fibonacci 60-digit clock as a key or building block and link them together to form larger geometric shapes. I must warn you that the spiritual implications of what you are about to learn are profound, and you really should take the time to educate yourself on these matters if you are not already familiar with them. Let's get right into it. We have seen that the Fibonacci series is creating a perfect human clock. When we add up the sum of the 60 numbers in this Fibonacci clock, we get a total of 280. In the first video, I mentioned that the fives act like the four zeros. Therefore, we have 280 minus 40 equals 240. I said I would explain why the fives act like the zeros. We will get into that now. When we use this Fibonacci 60-digit cipher as a building block and start to link them together into larger geometric shapes, we can see that the fives are the points at which these blocks link together. Think of them like Lego blocks clicking together to form larger shapes. See the example in the images provided. When I connect two of these Fibonacci clocks together at their nuclei, they link up exactly on the five-point markers. And because the fives are of the exact same value, they cancel each other out and become zero. Hence, the fives act like zeros. With Lego blocks, once you click them together, you don't see the points at which they link up. You only see the larger shape. The interlocking points completely disappear. We have seen how much mathematical information is coded into just one of these Fibonacci 60-digit clocks. Once we combine two of these clocks together, the magic keeps coming. This mathematical shape is known as a Venn diagram. But in spiritual terms, there is another famous name for it. In the spiritual community, it is called the Vesica Pisces. It is the linking together of male and female energy. In ancient beliefs, the Vesica Pisces represented the womb, fertility, and the mother goddess. As in, this is the symbol of the force or entity that gives birth to something new. In Christianity, the fish shape created by the two overlapping circles of the Vesica Pisces was the symbol of Jesus of Nazareth. But this symbol is not native to any single religion as it appears throughout the ancient world. Let us focus on the numbers and see what is being created by the linking together of these two Fibonacci clocks. Remember, the Fibonacci 60-digit clock represents time here on Earth. What is being birthed or created when we link two of these Fibonacci circles of time together into the famous Vesica Pisces? We get a new geometrical shape with 36 numbers on one side and 36 numbers on the other side. That gives us a total of 72 numbers. This is very significant as the numbers 36 and 72 are very important in spiritual circles. In Jewish mythology, there are 72 angels that act as intermediaries between humans and the divine. These angels are derived from the Hebrew name for God, the Tetragrammaton. 36 is also a very important number in mathematics and science because we have 360 degrees on a compass. This is very interesting as we use 60 units on our clocks, which we use to measure time, and we use 360 degrees on a compass, which we use to measure the physical universe. Now, you might think I am reaching because 36 is not 360, right? But what happens if I add up the sum of those 72 numbers? These are high-resolution images, so you should be able to pause this video here and add them up for yourself on a standard calculator. If not, you can see the video description for links to high-resolution images. 
If I add up the total sum of those 72 numbers, E, I get, wait for it, I get a total of 360. So we use 60 units on our clocks to measure time, and we use 360 degrees on our compasses to measure the physical universe. Scholars cannot tell you why. They chalk it up to convenience and random chance. Yet here we have seen that the Fibonacci series is creating a perfect human clock using 60 digits that repeat into infinity, like a perpetual ticking clock. That Fibonacci clock even highlights the four cardinal points on a compass. Then, beyond all rational mathematical probability, when I combine two of those Fibonacci clocks into a famous Venn diagram known in spiritual circles as the Vesica Pi Cs, the symbol of the force or entity that gives birth to something new, it magically generates the number 360. What's actually happening here? Einstein concluded that the universe is made up of a fabric of space and time, which he called space-time. According to Einstein, somehow space and time are linked together to create the universe we see around us in all 360 degrees. Here we have two Fibonacci clocks which are perfectly mimicking our clocks used only here on Earth. When I combine two of these clocks together into the Vesica Pisces, they give birth to this new sacred geometrical symbol that magically adds up to 360. We use 360 degrees on a compass, and our scholars don't know why. I can tell you why, in plain and simple English. Cycles of time encoded with vast amounts of mathematical information are giving birth to the physical universe we see rendered all around us. I will stop here for today. Go and digest everything that was revealed in this video. Go back and watch all the previous videos in this series once again. I will link them under the description. I have the secrets to the riddle of time and space and I will share them with you if you are willing to listen. Please click like and subscribe and share these videos with the world. This knowledge belongs to everyone. Remember how I found all of this? There is magic here. See you soon. And rest assured, it only gets more and more incredible.